Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a general love reading. This is a, I don't know where we're headed, love reading. I just wanted to do a handful of love readings. So stay with me. This is for all signs. This is for any sign that you may be thinking of. And let's just see what spirit has. Think of this as an almost personal love reading, a very random general love reading. So welcome everybody. Welcome back. Um, so grateful spirit has guided you here today. Let's see what spirit has for you. Take with you what connects to you. Leave the rest for everybody else. Spirit, what loving messages do you have? What, what do you want us to hear today? What is important to know about loving energy going on around us, around our person or someone that we may be thinking of? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have toxic. This connection may be unhealthy. Um, you're together out of need or habit. Release it to be free. Release any toxic connections, okay? Even if it's, um, I have removed them from my life, but I still communicate with them on some level. Um, there's still that invisible tie to you um, that's holding you hostage. You want to, you always want to get, let that go. So release anything toxic. Somebody is missing you. Thoughts of you are on their mind and they're considering their feelings and emotions. So you do have somebody out there that is thinking of you, but they may not be good for you. It could be spirit's way of saying, yeah, okay, they miss you, but they they had you, you know, they had you and they lost you and you've moved on and spirit has something so much better for you. So somebody's out there missing you. You love yourself more. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> boy, this is really self-love is the cornerstone of sharing true love. You love yourself more is how it's coming into me. So even though they're missing you, um, you love yourself more. Um, that's important. You know, it's, you decided that you wanted to move on. So let's just start with that energy that you've already removed somebody or something. You made a choice. Bottom of the deck. Thank you, spirit. A choice between two. Your heart already whispers the answer. Okay. So let's, um, yeah, look at bottom of the deck. I got to get one more. I'm sorry. They're really, <laughs> these cards are talking to me. New love. Uh, destiny is guiding you to new love. Trust your intuition. Okay. You've got a choice and it could be as simple as choose between the two, all right? New love or of course, you know, somebody who's missing you, but they're really not good for you anymore. Or they really have already proven themselves that um, you just keep getting hurt by the, the same person over, over, over and over again. So a choice between two, you know, it, it's, that's a hard one. You know, do I go back to the past or do I just focus on this new love moving forward? Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you want us to hear today? What is it? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody new. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. Boy, all right. Many of you have moved on and you definitely do not want to go back. Some of you still have strings attached to that past and you have a hard time really letting that past go. I have a king of swords, six of wands. King of swords, six of wands. I have a three of cups and I have an ace of swords. So making a decision, I feel like it's a, it's your decision to make ultimately, but this king is very convincing to me. <laughs> This king is either proving their worth, they are stepping forward, they are sharing with you their, their trust and their honesty. And I mean, yes, their heart, but they're, they're speaking their truth is how it's coming into me. So you've got somebody coming forward that is very convincing that it's hard to kind of look backwards when you've got somebody coming forward that that wants to kind of capture you and is looking for a relationship that is going to be happy and healthy and, and um, almost like I want to win your heart energy. So you've got somebody who's very, very convincing. I have a fool. It's a new journey for you. Look at four wands. I, I feel like you've got somebody that's got something that to offer you okay that the person who was toxic in the past had nothing to offer you i feel like they just spewed a bunch of false promises lies um 
kind of kept you hanging there, even for years. They could have kept you hanging on for years. But this person is making you promises of a future. This person is um, sharing with you that, you know, I'm a better choice. I'm not, I'm not your past and I am a better choice for you. So I feel like they're, the word they shared with me was integrity. Their integrity is at state. Like what they say is what they mean, what they, um, how their actions are, you know, like look at their actions, but they are very much interested in, in creating a life around you that is not only emotionally stable, secure, I love you, I'm passionate about you, I see you in my future. So I feel like this person's creating a, I'm going to say an offer, you know, it, it's an offer of look at what I have to give, look at what look at what our life could be like together. So there's no, there's an offer ahead is how it just came into me. Like somebody who actually wants a committed relationship. Um, there's no looking in the past, you know, for those of you that struggle with that twin flame that keeps coming back and interrupts you right when you're ready to move on with your life or right when you meet your new person all of a sudden they it's like they know telepathically that you've moved on and then they they come and they try to destroy your life and sabotage your life once again um you always have a choice you always have um the final say a hummingbird enjoyment be in the present um, resilience, sweet nectar, lifting out of negativity and the lightness, you know, this feeling of stability with this four of wands, okay, we see that as our marriage card, but four of wands is, you know, those wands are set into the um, ground, right? They're building a foundation. They're creating that space of we can build something together. So spirit's saying, look at the enjoyment. Can we stay in the present so that this future does unfold for us? Sometimes it's it's just a difficult, it's a pulling energy that we just, somebody keeps pulling at us and grabbing us and trying to, to drag us down. So I'm going to say, don't let anybody drag you down. Stand strong, stay in the present, and just stay focused on what is ahead of you. A stallion breaking, three, breaking free. I'm going to tell you that this new love has something so much more to offer you, that this is somebody who is driven, okay? This is somebody who is... Um, very strong, obviously, with their emotions, with that night energy. I'm passionate about you. I, I'm, I'm not going to give up on you. I have something to offer you. Um, there's a lot of sexual energy in this connection. I'm, I, I can't hold back, Spirit just said. Like, they cannot hold back from the passion that they're feeling. And I don't think they care who or what was in your past. As long as you're focusing on them, I feel like they're just going to focus on, you know, winning your heart and um, sharing their life with you, trying to stay in the moment, trying to keep you focused on what it is that they have to offer because they have something so much more to offer. The circumstances are complicated. Somebody is trying to string you along somebody is keeping your emotions all tied up they cause havoc they cause problems okay so don't let somebody hold you hostage you know i get it you have a history together you could have children together you have you know years of kind of this energy going back and forth but um spirit saying they want you to focus on like just what's ahead you know it, it's it's so hard to finally say no or say no over and over again. They're saying no, let it be. Okay, see, so detach, hibernate, right? Self-reflect. Um, it's time to celebrate and it's the end. It's the end of a winter cycle. It's the end of a winter cycle. And then it's going to be the birth of that spring cycle with that new love coming in, the passion coming in. You know, I desire you physically. Um, standing alone, a tower moment. 
what is what's important to you? What is important to you? You know, do you want to have somebody pulling at your heartstrings all the time? Do you want to have somebody where you don't know where you stand? Do you want to have somebody that you know time and time again this person has hurt you? You know, if the answer is no, <laughs> I claim my power. I want to stand, but I want to, st even if it means I'm standing alone, I'd rather see you stand alone than go back to somebody who hurt you in some way. Pluto, the greater revealer, it's a transformation. It's a heat to call. It's a renewal. It's a, sur a surrender. It's a re awakening. It's a rebirth. It's clearing. You are doing the work, spirit saying, and you are going to get the results that you want. The results are that they want you to move forward. I, I don't care who's missing you from the past. Um, it's almost like they had their chance and you deserve more. And now spirit's putting somebody in front of you that's showing you that they they want to give you what it is that you always wanted or what those empty promises were from someone else. So you are definitely moving on. Time to move on. I have a king of pentacles. There's a sense of security. I have something to offer. Beautiful. Um, a death. For every ending, there's a new beginning. Let this person in. Let this new energy in. There's my fool. There's my new beginning. There's my devil. So... Let's just look at these two for a second. Here, this is exactly what this, this reading is all about. Do I, I'm going to put it this way, the devil in the past and the fool in the future energy. Just this feeling of, do I close the door in the past to open the door in the future? If, you, if that's what you want, claim it, own it. But that's what I'm feeling today. You have a choice. You've got somebody from your past who won't let you go, who's still hanging on. And you've got somebody coming into your future who, or who has come into your future who's trying to show you that you have the choice. Which choice is this going to be? I mean, right now, this looks like a no brainer, but it depends on the emotions. It depends on the pull. It depends on what this person, you know, this person holds you kind of hostage or your heart hostage somehow. But you have the choice. You have the choice. Choosing between two, the sun, the, the new beginning. I have a lover's. You've got a new beginning. They're going to keep showing you over and over again until you believe it. It's it's almost a feeling of you've got to see it in concrete form. You've got to, you know, it, it's the person who says, well, I keep going back to my past because it's better than having nothing. Um, that's not true. When you keep going back to your past and you have something in your life, spirit prevents you and your energy from receiving the new love that is supposed to come into your life. So keep that in mind also. It's like a self-blocking of what is meant to be or what's next on your path. So this is like spirit saying over and over again, I have a better choice for you. I have a new beginning for you and I want you to receive it. I want you to, I want you to feel it. I want you to know that this is coming. So that's beautiful. I have a page of cups. There's some new feelings. He looks so happy, that page. There's some new feelings. I have feelings for you too. You know, that, that new feeling that comes in right now. We all have choices. Um, sometimes, you know, we make the wrong choices. We all know that. Um, sometimes we have to stand our ground and make the right choices. And it's really, really difficult to push feelings out or feelings away or cut somebody out of our life um, in hopes that something is better. I get that. But if it's toxic behavior, that's just this revolving door of it just never gets better. And spirit's saying literally year after year. So some of you, this particular connection could be years of toxic behavior. It's time to move on. It's time for you to see that the spirit has something better. Divine, divine feminine energy. Tap into your divine feminine energy today. Know that spirit is guiding you. Gorgeous. Take control of your life. Absolutely. What is your? What are you destined to be? I want to be happy. I want to nurture somebody. You have a lot of love to give. I want somebody to nurture me. If I love them, I want them to love me back the way that I deserve to be loved is coming into me. 
um, your healing, your inner child, your inner child wants to be held. They want to be loved. They want to be cared for. Um, speak your truth. You know what it is that you want today. This reading is for you to make a choice that you're closing the door on the past and you are opening it to um, the future. So it could come into you in a moment in time that somebody new comes into your life. And sometimes the new energy is a sense of cleansing. It is a sense of I can heal and um, fall in love at the same time. And it's an epiphany moment that I can do both. I can, I can have old feelings and old wounds and fall in love all at the same time. So maybe some of you don't believe that, that you, you're, you're, can have multiple feelings at the same time. So close the door, you know, close the door and look for that aha moment that spirit wants to share with you so that, you know what, I've got something better for you or the person that I'm putting in front of you right now is a better choice for you. So big choice, big choice. I, I don't, I think it's a no brainer, but I can't choose for you. Only you can choose. Let's see what we have. I have a maybe again, that's that that's the energy of I just don't believe that something else is out there. So I keep going back to what I know is um, real or I keep going back to know to to what I know. Um, and but I keep getting the same results. I keep I keep getting hurt by this person. I keep um, we keep falling into the same cycle over and over again. So we want to get rid of that. Words do hurt. Remember what has been said to you in the past. We're so quick to forgive and forget. Remember what they're saying. Remember that um, you have so many choices and so many options. Spirit's letting you know. This is so much a, a reading about your choice today. You, you get to choose. I'm terrified, you know. I'm terrified that I'm going to make the wrong choice or if I take the leap of faith to remove somebody that... Um, I'm going to be alone or that spirit doesn't have somebody spirits sharing with me over and over again that they they do have somebody new. They have something better. They have something stable. They have something secure. They have somebody that wants to love you. So it's a leap of faith. Um, I have so much desire for you. You want to be with the person that desires you. Let me have you. Let me have you. I don't want to give up on this connection. Ace of Pentacles, I have an offer. There's my offer. Whoever's coming into your life, I, when I had those that king energy, that king of swords, ace of swords earlier on, it was somebody who um, speaks their truth and says, I, I know that I see something in you and I have something so much better. I, I'm, this is the kind of future you can have with me. This is what I would dream of for us. So somebody who can express themselves and share with you. So Spirit just said there's no going back. Um, there's someone else. Okay, so I desire you. You could be, you know what, this is the new person that's come into your life. There's somebody else. You say no to the past because you finally have met somebody else. And you say, no, I'm starting a new relationship with somebody. I'm not, I'm not talking to you anymore. It's disrespectful for the person that I'm now talking to. So um, that could be going on. Or even that could be a three of swords where it was you know, your person, you know, was toxic and hurt you. And, and there was somebody that interfered in that connection. Just remember their words. Remember what happened. Don't don't be so quick to forgive and forget. Um, I just dream and wish for everything. I have so much desire for you. I dream and I wish for everything. I dream and I wish for everything for you also, okay? This person has got something to offer you, okay? It's a feeling of this is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always hoped for. But I keep getting stuck in a cycle of either forgiving somebody who doesn't really deserve my forgiveness over and over again, um, who keeps making me false promises, who keeps who keep telling me things that they think that I want to hear to keep me um, or to get me back over and over again. Um, Spirit saying bottom of the deck, love is the answer. You know, that that is so much, that is what we want. The person who's toxic and the person who um, has hurt you in the past, 
who still misses you, who would love to get you back, who certainly would try to interfere in any new relationship that you're about to start. That person is um, jealous, envious, doesn't want to see you move on, okay? Jealous of the other person. Sometimes those kinds of energies, they it, it's not even that they want to they want to have be with you so much as that they don't want you to be with somebody else. So that's a controlling energy. Let's focus on the love. Love is the answer, okay? The person who comes into your into your life that loves you, cares for you, wants to build a life with you, wants to make promises to you and keep those promises. So I love I love that love is the answer. I, I want that for you. Let's put this out. Um, let's put this out into the universe and let's ask spirit to guide you. The choice is yours. Somebody is missing you from your past while somebody new is coming into your future. And right now it's, I want you to choose love. I, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I think spirit showing you that there is going to be something on the other side. So let's put this out into the universe and ask spirit to guide you today. I want to thank spirit um, for this reading. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your likes, your comments. I really appreciate it. Anyone who would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website, kathymamelandpsychicmedium.com.